Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 2. In this training module, we're going to be exploring how to upload a file with our laptop to our Sniper system, as well as doing a firmware update with our laptop. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at doing a firmware update process on our Holly Sniper system, as well as loading a calibration file onto our Holly Sniper system using our software here that we've installed onto our laptops from our previous training tutorial. The first thing we need to do here is get online between our laptop and our sniper system that we're working with. Now my vehicle here has been fitted with a super sniper system from Holly. It's a fresh install, all brand new. I haven't even communicated with the little LCD display, the handheld display. I haven't even hooked it up. I have the USB cable adapter that plugs right into the laptop already hooked up to the super sniper system here. Now, if you have a base sniper system, it likely does not come with the USB programming cable because Holly intends that most people are going to just run the handheld device to do all the programming. Well, that handheld device does not give you enough programming capability, so we want to use our software here. Now, if you're in the situation where you have a non-super sniper system, you'll have to order the USB cable from Holly's website. So coming up on screen is a picture of the cable as well as the part number, and again, you can order it right from Holly. You're going to need that for the base sniper systems. Anybody with a, a super sniper uh, should have that USB cable already included in their kit from Holly, because again, they intend that you have to go and communicate with the laptop to use some of the advanced programming functions of our super sniper systems. So either way, you're going to need that USB cable. Now I have that USB cable plugged into the four pin receiving connector on my sniper system here, and then the USB cable is plugged into my laptop. I'm sitting in the vehicle right now with my ignition key powered on, and the engine's not running. The engine wouldn't run anyway because I haven't loaded a calibration file that would instruct the Holly what kind of engine we're trying to control and how I want to deliver the fuel and spark, so even if I wanted to try to start it, it won't start at this point in time. But what we need to do here is get online with our Holly that we first do our firmware update and the firmware is going to make sure that the software we have installed here onto our laptop is going to be able to directly control the hardware that's internal to the sniper system. So it's going to make sure that the software communicates with the hardware and everything is going to function as intended as we're doing our programming and setup and control. So we definitely want to make sure you're doing a firmware update on a fresh install with the Holly. Now if you have an older sniper system, you don't necessarily need to do the firmware updating if you have an older version of our Sniper EFI software here. If you're on the newer version of the software, it does require you to do the firmware updating uh, because the software won't correctly communicate with the hardware again and be able to control things properly. So this process is something that you are likely going to need to do either way. So let's jump in here and take a look at how we're going to work with this. So what we're gonna do here is get online with our Holly. Now, we can do a couple different things here. We can try to download from the ECU. In this case, I have nothing loaded onto the sniper system, so nothing's gonna be able to download. I can create a new file. I don't wanna do that at this point in time. I need to do the firmware update first. I can go to open a config file, at least just allows me to open up a file and start getting the software to open up here, or I could just go down here and go to open, which will open the selected file. I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. The street strip cam.sniper. This is a base file from Holly. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this. And the only reason we're opening this file right here is because we simply wanna get online with our sniper system. We don't care about which specific file we have right now. We care about doing this firmware updating process here first. Now, if you have your Holly sniper system already been tuned or have some kind of a base file on it already, you would wanna go ahead and do that download from ECU option. That'll allow you to save the file and then you can go ahead and load it back to the Holly after you've done the firmware update. In this case, I have nothing loaded onto my sniper system here, so I don't care, uh, and I, I'm not able to download anything from the sniper, so in this situation, it's a fresh install, and I'm not worried about going in and getting that previous file that could have been loaded onto the sniper. Now, because you're gonna be doing the tuning with your laptop and going through all the process, you likely don't wanna go and start off with the previous base file that was on your sniper, um, it's a good idea to save it, but you're probably going to go ahead and uh, just start with a fresh file. So either way, 
This allows the software to do the next step here into our next. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.